in the last video tutorial we have seen how do we calculate number of squares or number of rectangles in a different m into m or m into n grid now we will talk about number of different cubes or cuboids in a larger cube or cuboids so what basically is a cube in a cube we know all sides are equal and in a cuboid all sides are not equal so let's take the first case where we have to find number of cuboids in 5 into 5 into 5 cube this is basically format of m into m into m cube so how do we calculate it let's take a smaller example first 3 into 3 into 3 cube this cube will be something like this This is a three into three into three cube. Now we have to find total number of smaller cuboids in it. So all cubes are cuboids, but not all cuboids are cube. Which basically means that if we have a cube. Let's say one into one into one. So this is a cube, as well as this is a cuboid. While we have a different, let's say, cuboid, which is one into one into two. This is a cuboid, but this is not a cube. So here we, when we are going to find number of cuboids, which will, these cuboids will include all the cubes and all the cuboids as well so how do we find it we will again use the very concept that we have used in previous tutorial that is permutation and combination here we have 3 axes this is x axis how many points do we have here 1 2 3 and 4 so we have four points this is z axis we have again four points over here this is y axis we have four points on y axis now how many points do we need to form any different cuboid let's see that to form this cuboid let's cut out this piece from here this is the two point that we are going to take on this x axis so cutting this point out we get something like this these two points out these are the two points on y axis taking this out and on z axis again we have taking these two points so when we cut out this piece it is something like so by taking two points on each dimension we get a different cuboid so we need at least two point so two points out of four points on x axis multiplied by two points out of four on y axis multiplied by Two points out of four on z axis. So we finally get four c two multiplied by four c two multiplied by four c two. Four c two we have already seen the value of four c two is six into six into six, which gives us two one six. Four c two can be solved by four factorial divided by two factorial into two factorial, which gives us a value of Four into three into two into one divided by two into two. So 
in this 3 into 3 into 3 cube, we get total of 216 cuboids. Let's take a different example where we have 5 into 5 into 5 cube and we have to find number of cuboids here. So number of cuboids will be equal to 5 into 5 into 5. 5 means we have 6 points on that dimension. 3 means 4 point. 5 means 6 point. So 6 point we have to select 2 point. Out of 6, 2 point. Out of 6, 2 point. Solving this, we will be getting approximately, or uh, not approximately, we will be getting 15 into 15 into 15, which on calculation will yield a result of 3375. So, total of cuboids will be 3375. Going on the second example, where we have to find number of cuboid from a larger cuboid. Let's say the larger cuboid is 3 into 4 into 5. And we have to find all the cuboids possible from this. So, how do we solve this now? This is the dimension of 5. Y axis is 4 over here. And we will take a z dimension that is 3 something like this. So how do we again solve and find the total number of cuboids here? Again out of 5, see on the x-axis we have 6 points. 5 means 6 point, 4 means 5 points and 3 means 4 points. So out of 4 points we have to select 2. Out of these 5 points, 4 means 5 points. We have to select 2 and again out of 6, 6 points we have to select 2. Solving this whatever result that we will be getting, that will be our final answer. That are the number of cuboids that can be, that can, that are there in this larger cuboid. Okay, now we have already seen how do we calculate and find the total number of cuboids. Now what will be the method to find the number of cubes in a larger cube, let's say larger cube is of 4 into 4 into 4 dimension. This is the case of m into m into m cube. Now we have to find total number of cubes over here. 4 into 4 into 4 cube is, let me draw the diagram. Not a good one, but maybe this will work out. So this is the total number of cube over here. Now, what can be the maximum possible dimension of the cube that can be formed over here? Maximum possible dimension will be 4 into 4 into 4 sort of cube. The lowest dimension of cube that can be formed over here is 1 into 1 into 1 cube. So from 1 cube we can go uh, we can find cubes still dimension of 4 into 4 into 4 so in between we get cubes of dimension 2 into 2 into 2 and cubes of dimension 3 into 3 into 3 cube so let's find the total number of cubes as such if you have to find number of 1 into 1 into 1 cubes these are the cube of type the smaller cubes like these ones this is 1 into 1 into 1 cube this again is 1 into 1 into 1 cube. This again is 1 into 1 into 1 cube. This again is 1 into 1 into 1 cube. So how do we calculate total number of such cubes? 1, 2, 3 and 4. Similarly, this is the side of 4. So 1 into 3, 2 into 3 into 4. Dimension is 4. So 1 into 2 into 3 into 4. Dimension is again 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So total number of cubes will be 4 into 4 into 4. Which gives a value of 64 such cubes. Now we have to find 2 into 2 into 2 cubes. What are the total number of 2 into 2 into 2 cubes? These are the cubes of type this. 
So how do we find such cubes now? Keep on moving on the first in the row and then in the column direction. This is one cube. Moving a bit. Second two into two cube will be this. Third two into two cube will be this. Now we have got three cubes over here on this axis. Moving to the upward direction. First cube, second cube, third cube. Moving in this direction. Again three cubes. So total number of cubes will be 3 into 3 into 3. That gives us a value of 27. Similarly, following the pattern, 3 into 3 into 3 cubes will be 2 into 2 into 2. And we already know that 4 into 4 into 4 cube is 1. So how do we draw a generic formula for these type of questions? The generic formula can be if we have m into m into m cube, the total number of cubes will be m square plus m minus 1 whole square plus m minus 2 whole square and we will keep on going till we get 1 cube sorry this is cube 1 cube plus m minus 1 whole cube m minus 2 whole cube till we get 1 cube so let's say we have to find number of cubes in 6 into 6 into 6 cubes. So value of m is 6. 6 cube plus 5 cube plus 4 cube plus 3 cube plus 2 cube plus 1 cube. So on solving this whatever results we will be getting that is the total number of cubes that can be formed into 6 into 6 into 6 cube. Now we are left with one more question that is Total number of q in m into n into p kind of larger q. How do we solve this now? Let's take an example. Let's take a 4 into 3 into 2. So this is 4 into 3 and let's take this side z axis to be 2. And this is our cuboid 4 into 3 into 2 now we have to find total number of cubes here what is the maximum cube uh, maximum type of cube or maximum dimension of the cube that can be formed can we form 4 into 4 into 4 kind of cube it is not possible because the x z axis is 2 can we form 3 into 3 into 3 kind of cubes Again, no, because the z-axis is again of 2 units. So, can we form 2 into 2 into 2 kind of cubes? Yes, we can. And we can also form 1 into 1 into 1 kind of cubes. Now, let us see what are the total number of cubes that are possible here. So, finding 1 into 1 into 1 kind of cubes. This is 1 cube. Second. We can either calculate it, but calculation will be not a good way of doing it because we can get a larger cuboid as well. So what we'll do, see, this is 4 unit. So we have 4 cubes here, 3 unit, so we have 3 cubes here and again 2. So we'll directly multiply them 4 into 3 into 2, 4 into 3 into 2. This is on the similar basis that we have done to, uh, in the previous question. Total number of cubes in m into m into m. In 4 into 4 into 4 kind of cube, we get 4 into 4 into 4. 64 cubes we have already. Like we have, we got 64 cubes in the previous question. So what we'll do? Multiply 4 into 3 into 2. So this comes out to be 24 cube. For 2 into 2 into 2, what we'll do? We'll reduce 1 from each of these dimensions. So this is 3 into 2 into 1. So we get 6 cubes. Adding them, we get a total of 30 cubes and such kind of cuboid. So the generic method or generic formula can be m into n into p plus m minus 1, n minus 1, p minus 1, m minus 2, n minus 2, p minus 2 
till any one of these terms become one so till any one of these three dimensions become one so in this question m was 4 n was 3 p was 2 plus subtracting one from each of the dimensions 3 into 2 into 1 plus now we have already got one such dimension that is one we'll stop here this is our answer let's take another question suppose we have to find total number of cubes in 6 into 5 into 4 cuboid what we'll do putting in the formula 6 into 5 into 4 plus subtracting 1 from each of the dimensions 5 into 4 into 3 plus 4 into 3 into 2 plus 3 into 2 into 1 as soon as we get 1 in any of the terms we will stop there and there and we will calculate whatever the value will be there that is the total number of cubes formed in this cuboid so these are the four generic methods of doing these kind of questions thank you